Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. AKA Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So Anthony Yard defeats Marco Nikolic via a third round stoppage. Now this fight is what it is. It's what we expected. Anthony Yard was fighting a no-named Serbian opponent. Stops him, stops him in three rounds. Not too much to report. And this is the issue I have with Anthony Yard. I think Anthony Yard has always been a guy who's had a certain amount of talent. But it's, it's, it's either like everything or nothing with Anthony Yard. He's either fighting a guy like Baterbiev or Sergei Kovalev without the ideal preparation and matchmaking leading him up to those fights. Or he's fighting guys like this. Lyndon Arthur being the only exception to that. Um, listen, Marco Nikolic was slow, cumbersome, poor, defensively vulnerable, not durable. Listen, he was tough in the sense he kept on getting up, but in terms of taking the shots, you know, he just couldn't withstand the power and speed of Anthony Yard. Proves absolutely nothing. Marco Nikolic, in terms of quality, is, yeah, he's got a snazzy record, a big record of 32-3 and three going into this fight, but ultimately, Anthony Yard could have beaten this guy on his pro debut, and Anthony Yard now is, what, 28 fights in, something like that. Just a fight that makes no sense, doesn't do anything for Anthony Yard, easy knockout, and that's what it feels like, again, with Anthony Yard's career. He's either fighting a guy like Baterbiev and Kovalev, and giving a good account of himself, I would say. Or he's fighting guys like this. And quite frankly, I'm bored of this now with Anthony Yard. Again, I like Yard. I like his ability. I think he's he's got talent there that hasn't really been built upon due to the soft matchmaking. Due to the fact that he stayed with Tunde Ajayi for so long. And I'm not one of these people who discredit Tunde. I think he's good at spotting talent. I'm not sure he's good at really enhancing it to the elite level. I think he's good at spotting raw talent, but I don't think he's good at like developing it to a certain to a certain level. I think Yard should have probably left Tunde a long time ago and demanded a much better level of opposition going forwards kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, Yard started quickly, quick on the jab, uh firing that pull counter right hand against Marco Nikolic, who was, like I said, slow. He was swinging the overhand right. His jab was slow. Yard could really do what he wanted. He was winning the jab exchanges. He was countering Nikolic's jab with his own right hand. First round, clear Yard. Second round, uh, Yard drops Nikolic twice. First knockdown, I didn't really get a close look of. It looked like a slip more than anything. I may have been wrong. Second knockdown, he catches Nikolic with a good left hook to the body, drops Nikolic. Um, so yeah, at this point in time, the writing is on the wall. Third round, Nikolic gets dropped again. Um, this time over, referee waves it off. I think he got dropped to the head for, uh, for the third knockdown. Nikolic beat the count, you know, he was tough, he was willing, but a total lack of quality. And the referee waved it off, and rightly so. Yard wins by a third round stoppage. We, we shall see what happens from here. I'm watching the post-fight reactions now. And uh, Yard is calling out Joshua Boazzi. Boazzi is actually in the ring. Well, well, next to the ring with Anthony Yard. That That's the fight to me that has to happen. Anthony Yard versus Joshua Boazzi. That fight has to happen... I think that's the best fight for both guys right now, personally. And quite frankly, I think Yard... Because again, I rate Yard. I think Yard has ability. I think Yard has good raw ability, I will say, raw potential. That I don't think has been quite honed on as of yet. Maybe it never will at this point, but regardless. I think Yard has enough right now to beat Joshua Boazzi. Boatsy's a more rudimentary fighter. He does what he does well. Got a good jab, you know, good body puncher. Delivers his shots well. 
But Yard has that ability to punch with you. He's got speed, he's got power, he's sharp. He looked quick in this fight against uh, Nikolic. I've got a weird feeling Yard beats Boatsy. But I think it'll be a good fight. I think it'll be a good fight. Yard v Boatsy. Um, to me, that's the fight that should happen next. I think that's the fight that should happen next, personally. I'm not counting out Boatsy. I think he's got a chance in that fight, but I would favour Yard. But yeah, let's let's make it. Let's... Let's 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 get it. That's the fight that has to happen for me. But anyway, share your thoughts below. What did you make of Yard? I mean, you can't really make much of Yard in this type of fight. But what do you want next from Yard is the main question. Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.